King News, my lovely, wonderful people. Amnesty for Boko Haram bandits. Now, Northern Group gives Tinubu two weeks ultimatum or they will begin. My people, you know, they see and now. The Northern Group say, we say uh, they must give amnesty to their people right now. They must give amnesty. They say if they not want, say, well, I go this. Now that place, so, no problem, go take this. So, he said they get to give amnesty to Boko and uh, you know say Gumi do they talk this matter since Tinubu to say they in the go say na war it go set against they say none of them go get any amnesty. Gumi na do they talk since for the northern elders so but na na do not say if Tinubu not do one nine we say they go do Tinubu says no no fee no fee wait for him we say it go surprise we say go happen. We say really say yes so please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like or share subscribe let's get all the details amnesty for boko haram bandits northern groups gives tinubu two-week ultimatum the northern development forum a pan northern group has issued a two-week ultimatum to the administration of the president bola Tinubu to grant amnesty to all boko haram and banned it in the north to foster national inclusivity. Tinobo wants to rule a government without including the entirety of the north, not possible. The group would promise its demand on what it called the prosperous life now being lived by ex-agitators in the Niger Delta, one that it, could, it couldn't guarantee peace in the north if, it demand, if the demands are not met. In a press statement by his spokesman, Sheriff Abubakar, the NDF said the only way for the North will have a will to have peace and to stop this instant attack by Bokos and bandits on the people is for Tinubu's government to grant amnesty to all Bokos. Yes, just like the late Umar Musa Aradua did on assumption of office in 2009 for Niger data agitators. Today, look at the peace he brought to them. The group further stated that for 15 years and counting, the Niger data militants have enjoyed unprecedented progress from the Nigerian government, leaving them in the, leave, leaving them in the north in abject poverty and deprivation. It lists its demand for Boko Haram and bandits to be included, declaration of amnesty, provision of scholarship, capacity building, and establishment of cooperative schemes and protection for the people. Trainings, hospitals, rehabilitation centers for our people. The state's roads in part of, in part of the states and all around the north connected. Dear Bola Ahmed Tinubu, we are writing you today as consigned citizens and advocate for justice and unity in our great nation. Recent events have brought to light the urgent need for amnesty to be granted to the northern agitators, popularly called Boko Haram and bandits. The, his, the history of amnesty grants granted to Niger Delta militant during the tenure of our late brother, President Maru Musa Radua has brought the sounds together, making it strong and giving it an advantage. We strongly urge you to consider this proposal and take adverse and take immediate action to promote peace, inclusivity, inclusivity like our brother Maru Musa Radua did for the South, and today the South is enjoying relative peace. We are aware that on account of amnesty to the Niger Delta agitators, some of them has transformed into politicians holding critical positions as Speaker of the House of Assembly, House of Representatives, members of the State Assembly, among other sensitive positions, while others are now successful businessmen creating wealth and jobs. We want the same for Boko Haram's and bandits. The Niger Data Amnesty Program initiated in 2009 played a positive role in Make, uh, in resolving conflict in the region, fostering lasting peace and programs, offering a pathway to form, to form an alliance with the military and ensuring that the society and everyone paving way for the people to work in unity and employment opportunity for them. 
This is what we should be doing today as well. Today, we find ourselves facing a similar situation in the north where agitators and conflict have escalated to an alarming dimension. It is imperative that you do not ignore our plight for our people and ensure that our voices that we are voicing out is not torn down. Urgently, we need the we need Bola Metinubu to act now if he wants peace. If not, there will be issues in this country and it is not a threat, it is a serious warning. Umaru Musa Radua did it for the South. He should do the same for the North. So this is what the North has called for. The North is saying that uh, Maru Musa Radua did it for uh, the South. Today the South is enjoying peace. Tinubu should also come and do it for the North or that there will be problem. He said no. That Umaru Musa Radua, you know, they said the, their brother has been calling since eh, and asking that he should come and uh, look after you know, look after, uh, he wants to, he wants to lay the line of negotiation. But you, are, but you guys, I'm glad that people are saying this. So I'm glad you are saying this, that Maru Musa Radua did this, he did that. But you, you are not talking about Buhari, your brother that came in. Buhari led for eight, eight years and he did nothing to resolve the problem. How come they, they left Buhari's uh, page blank? And they are jumping to the next page. I just wanted to understand. Though, no personal. I just wanted to understand that part. That how come Buhari is not in this picture? How come Buhari is not in any of this picture at all at all? And what we are seeing right now is something totally different and unacceptable. How come to Buhari is totally and completely not in this picture? Buhari led for eight years. And he could have as well, after good luck in Billy Jonathan, bring amnesty to the north. Since there was so much agitation, he came saying that he was going to fight these things. He did nothing. How come you're leaving Buhari out of this? How come he's getting off the hook so cheaply? I just wanted to understand it. That's why I'm asking the question. I really want to understand it. Eh? How come? Eh, so this is what is happening. This is what is going on right now. Eh? This is what is going on. Don't come and be lying to us. Tell us the truth. Let's understand what you are doing. Let's understand. How come Buhari can go scot-free? It's not part of the chains. There's nothing holding him. But yet you are holding other people captive, saying that, you know, they must do this now. If they don't do it now, there'll be trouble. How come other people must pay for what Buhari did not do? Anyway, I'm just asking, oh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, bye for now. Remember, you have a voice. Bye-bye.